Hi, I am Firas, and today I'm going to show you uh, uh, a very nice project that I was uh, uh, tried to model uh, in Dynamo, and it's basically this snowflake tower in Abu Dhabi. Uh, as you can see in, in, in uh, those pictures, uh, that's the final project made by the Lava Team. It's it's Lava Team picture actually. I got it from their uh, their website. Uh, I, I saw some of this, uh, some of tutorials in, uh, in Rhino uh, about how to make this uh, uh, video, uh, how to make, sorry, how to make this uh, tower and I was really keen to make a similar thing but in Dynamo and Revit. So that's uh, one of the most beautiful uh, projects, it's actually uh, uh, meant to be in uh, Abu Dhabi and um, I get uh, some of those information actually uh, some of this information to get and generate the tower uh, out of the lava team uh, uh, website which is right here so that's the website that's the blog actually that site I took the information from uh, that's the team it's uh, Michael Schumacher tower uh, uh, launch in Abu Dhabi by uh, lava team and uh, it's one of the beautiful uh, projects you can uh, you can see here uh, the detail of that project, that's the image that I borrow from this website and uh, uh, that's the team uh, that's uh, Tobias, uh, all the best and uh, that's the tower, and it's, it's really, uh, I got some of information from this and a, a little bit of search in, in, on, uh, on also on Google to get some information of the slides or, or the plans actually that, that they use uh, the concept has been taken from uh, uh, from the as the name as as a snowflake itself and uh, how the snowflake is created and it's basically based on a, a polar uh, system to generate the plan it's a parametric plan so maybe the, the term here parametric plan uh, it's really new or really important to focus on uh, it's generated all base and all algorithm and uh, you can feed uh, different aspects uh, that can push only those three sides outside or inside the circle outside and inside generate almost infinity amount of possibilities for the plan that you can uh, accumulate later on vertically as we as we can see here and to generate to generate the tower you can generate your own forms out of this plans or parametric plan and eventually uh, here it's a crown it's a 3d plan actually being placed in the in the last one and then the whole put together to create a very nice uh, composition, architecture comp uh, composition that you can see here in the, in their, in the lava team picture or uh, in my uh, uh, model of it. Uh, you, you can go ahead and see that how the plan is actually changing uh, accordingly. Uh, if you go vertically, how it's been changed. Uh, of course, in the original design, there is a gap here. It's actually uh, a wolf here. Uh, and, uh, there is water going inside and that's all void. Uh, but I was really busy, uh, I was really lazy actually to cut that out in a boolean and, and subtract that out of the form so I just, may, I just assume it's a continuous solid rather, rather it's in the main design it's, it's actually been uh, cleared out or subtracted uh, that's the site, that's the top of you as you can see that's almost triangular shape almost a circular shape and then those two shapes and those almost uh, 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 a tri-star uh, uh, plan and how it's actually morph and how Dynamo and Revit generate the form, this generative design very nice and very beautiful uh, uh, shape and as you can see that's the parametric plan accumulated in the Z axis and how then the form has been created so if we jump and we go to Revit uh, that's that's the tower uh, actually and as you can see it's a little bit heavy uh, on this machine and uh, if you zoom in you can see inside I, I just use the masses the foam actually that I get from uh, Dynamo and then I uh, exported into Max and uh, sorry into Revit and I created the uh, conceptual mass and then from the conceptual mass created those uh, automatic generated floor so each uh, each five meter I generated uh, a slab and then I clad the whole thing as you can see uh, with an adaptive component uh, it's, it's really nice uh, to create such a thing you might find some 
differences between this one and the real design. I just make it like a simple uh, version out of, of that tower. And uh, that's just a slice, that's a 3D, a 3D section in part of it to, sh to give you a, a better detail of the ability to, uh, the cooperation, the successful cooperation between Dynamo and, and uh, Rivet and how to create uh, a dynamic plans and those plans you can just go ahead and just pick whatever plan you want here and start working on it but the actual plan itself has been generated by Dynamo and Rivet and you just come and make the partitioning here so again uh, that's the Rivet result out of uh, this for example that's uh, that's the level almost the lower level again it's 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 been cut and, uh, and voided and probably that goes like uh, an oval shape I didn't model that so just assume it. it's a solid for the sake of simplifying this project and as you go up you see it uh, you start up to see a little bit smaller uh, section in the plan or smaller plan section uh, you go up and an even smaller one and then uh, uh, level 10 probably each, each section each plan actually uh, it got a different shape and that's the beauty of using that's the that's the really nice concept that they had uh, about uh, how to make a, a snowflake parametric plan and then accumulate that in the z-axis and then let dynamo or whatever software they use it's we're not talking really the purpose of this tutorial is not really to demonstrate the ability of Dynamo rather than just to show you the idea of a parametric or generate parametric architecture or a generative design and then we go higher and higher see this uh, uh, very nice uh, form uh, that we got and the final thing the most beautiful one is the, is the site itself uh, it's look like a flower or uh, look like a snowflake whatever your imagination can take you uh, that's that's the final result as you can uh, put that aside and, and, and if we go to Dynamo and uh, again it's uh, basically uh, if I just uh, just open both the, the surface that I got and the solid so that's that's the final result you can get in uh, in, in Dynamo it's a little bit slow I know so that's that's what we got here as so you see it's basically the final result is just the skin uh, or this cladding system sorry that we had that we you saw in here and then this guy in here so if i uh, if i just collect this solid you see that's the solid which is the, the 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 mass later on it came the mass i export that to to uh, revit conceptual massing and then from the conceptual massing I exported again or uploaded into the project and then cut those horizontally as uh, as you might sew here uh, that's that you need to conceptual massing and then to, into real uh, flow uh, all that done by an automatic uh, export from Dynamo to conceptual mass rivet and from conceptual mass rivet into rivet itself so that's the beauty of it so in order to create this type of geometry or this type of architecture, think of that to create the form itself that represent uh, the building itself and then you create something else which is this, which is the, the skin or the clad or whatever you want to call it. I call it here cladding. So let me turn off the, the form itself or the building. So you can see that this is this, the, the skin or whatever you want to call it. I call it clad. I prefer using cladding. So it's a surface actually based uh, surface based dynamo. So the, how's that uh, how's that been generated? Uh, it's uh, basically built out of the ability. So let me turn off this uh, the surface. The ability to create uh, parametric plans in 3D, and those are the parametric plans stacked in the Z axis. All of them. Uh, all of them actually uh, a co-planner or been created in a plane uh, or can be contained in a plane except the crown what I call it crown which is the last one as you can see uh, it's more like a 3d wiring that represent the crown that end up the whole thing so if uh, if you want to create the surface uh, or the cloud of the building you need this and if you want to create the solid you probably have to exclude the crown out of that 
Anyway, uh, so those, each one of those, each one of those, you see, it's it's actually the same, the same plan. It's uh, we just they just changed the aspect of how long this axis, and it's it's very long here and it's shorter, 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 and so on, and the size of those circles has been changed. In each plan, and they they copied vertically and then stacked above. As specific levels, and they let uh, the program uh, again here Dynamo. Probably they use Grasshopper, and they generated the the, the mass that we have uh, or we see in here. So those uh, that's that's basically uh, that's basically the the idea behind it. And each one of those, the as you can see, it's been you know placed. It's just like a, like an XRIF in AutoCAD. Uh, this file or any one of those any, any one of those files actually been created outside and then I create and I just copy them here or inserted them here and then change the height of them so if I want to close that uh, no uh, and then um, I can go here for my long list of files so probably I can go to uh, I don't know which one maybe the fifth one fourth one, fifth one, I'll go to the lower one, probably the first or the second. Uh, let me go here first, maybe. So, I'm going to open the parametric uh, plan. Yep, so, again, this is the plan, as you can see and uh, it's again it's a fully parametric so each each point actually those three points following a one parameter it's a it's a polar uh, polar system so this is been created based on an angle uh, from the zero zero and a distance from that and the same thing those one two three so one two three that's the first thing so let's let me show you quickly uh, this and uh, that's that. That's a polar system, actually. So that's the distance P1. So let's change P1 and see how it can react. See, and that's the beauty of it. I know that the circle, those circle, goes up. So you need to go and uh, control the size, uh, probably uh, of those, and uh, get a different uh, results out of this. Uh, you can also change the intersection of this, which is I'll show you here. So to control uh, to control the, the the distance of or how much those points actually interact with the circle itself. So you can go bigger or you can go smaller, less interaction as you can see. And you can control the size and even flipping the circle to the other side if, if you want. So that's the that's the beauty of having that's the beauty of having a, a parametric uh, a plan. So that's the profile. Uh, it's I know you can, I'll be keep repeating plan, but it's 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 more like an outline uh, shape rather than it's a plan itself. You can see now I'm changing this and I'm getting a different results out of this uh, you can technically end up by an infinity amount of results to get any plan you like uh, any possibility you want or you can think about uh, by changing the, the the parameter that you have and then you export that into the main file and you accumulate them above each other to create uh, uh, your own copy of uh, this uh, model uh, anyway, uh, that's about it. Again, I, I prepared this video just to show you the architecture behind or the concept and a basic idea of how to or how this beautiful masterpiece has been designed and the possibility to be done also in Dynamo based and uh, to be cooperative with Revit uh, not only by Grasshopper, you can also do it here in Dynamo and I wanted to show you the idea behind uh, what is the parametric uh, plan or parametric profile and how you can create uh, such a beautiful uh, uh, such a beautiful design I wish that you find that uh, useful 
video if you need any any further uh, any any more information about that i'm happy to help uh, thank you very much and have a good day bye